Hi everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 11.1.10. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Switching, Routing, and Wireless Essentials Cisco Networking Academy Version 7 curriculum. So we're going to configure some switch port commands in this lab that will help secure our ports to our switch and who can connect to them, what end devices can connect to them. So we're going to turn switch port security on and then we're going to set it to a maximum of one MAC address that it can learn basically. Because remember our MAC addresses are what's important at layer two. We're also going to set how it learns that MAC address. So in a real world situation, you could set it again to be to learn more than two MAC addresses for each individual port, but we're only going to set it to one. Also, you could set it to a static MAC address, like you could get that MAC address off that PC and enter it in for that port manually, or you could tell the switch to learn it and whatever one comes across its port first, that's the one that it sticks basically to that port. And then we're going to set a violation. So what happens if, because we're going to set it to only learn one MAC address total in its MAC address table for that port name, right, that port number, then what happens if it tries to learn another one? Because our settings are going to be that you could only learn one. Then we have to set a violation method. So there's three different violation methods, and we'll talk about the differences between those. And then lastly, we're going to shut down any unused ports. And then I'm going to show you what will happen when that violation method occurs. So again, we're going to go to S1 here and type these commands. And we're going to use our range command because we're going to configure FA01 and 2 at the same time, which again are the ports that PC1 and PC2 are plugged into. And because we want the same switch port security commands on both, we can actually use the range command to save time. So we're going to do interface range FA01 through 2. And we're going to turn on switch port security by typing in switch port dash security. This turns it on and this must come first. Now, I'm going to type that back in and I'm going to do a question mark after it just to show you what else could be typed in. You can do aging so that way that that MAC address ages out. You could do uh, the static MAC address where you would type MAC address and then you could do static or sticky. We'll actually do that in a minute for sticky uh, where it'll dynamically learn whatever MAC address comes first across that port. We could also, we're going to do maximum first here. So we can do max and then one. And you see in our directions there, that means that it can only learn one MAC address sent across that port and add it to that MAC address table or CAM table that we have. Remember, a switch keeps a CAM table of every port and then what MAC address is located off of that port. Then we're going to do switch port, port dash security again, and then MAC address and then sticky. Okay, we're not going to type in the actual MAC address. That would be statically assigning it. This way, the first MAC address that comes across that port FA01 and FA02 for PC1 and 2 is going to bind it to that port number. All right, and then lastly, we're going to set a violation method. So that way, um, when something goes across that port, other than once it learns about PC1, connected to FA01, PC2 connected to FA02, it adds it to the MAC address table. What happens if a new PC tries to connect to there and it's a MAC address that doesn't match either one of those coming across FA01 or FA02? And the mode they want us to do, it says, is set a violation mode so that FA01 and 2 are not disabled. That would be shutdown. That's a violation method called shutdown. But instead, a notification of the security violation is generated and packages are dropped. So in this one, a violation uh, notice is put on the, the switches, um, uh, switch port security log, and then packets are dropped. The port light will still be green, but packets will not get there. Okay, So pings will fail um, or you know any testing will fail. What that is, is restrict, okay? And then there's another one as well, which is protect, where a notification is generated, but no packets are actually dropped, okay? So there's three different ones kind of going up in severity from the lowest severity being protect, the middle ground being restrict, and then shutdown being the most severe. So we'll do, again, switch port, port security. And you can kind of see all of our commands start with that same baseline here. 
and then we're going to do violation and again just as I mentioned we got protect restrict and shut down again they list them here from least severe to most severe and we're going to do the middle one which is restrict and again all this stuff is happening on both FA01 and FA02 now what we want to do is in hardening a system as well is usually any unused ports we want to shut down so we're using FA01 and 2 so interface range FA03 through 24 and then you can actually do a comma G01 through 2 this are these are all the other ports that are on that switch and what we'll do is do shut down so it's actually going to shut down all of those ports all at one time all right now let's do some testing now that we have that configured all right and you see here we're at 86 percent so far so from pc1 and pc2 we're going to do a um we're going to basically try to send some traffic across there all right so it says verify that it is enabled um you can do show run begin interface uh use port security show commands to display configuration so you can do show uh port security or show port security address all right, let's attach the rogue laptop to any unused port. So I'm going to get my cable, copper straight through. So I'm going to connect to the fast Ethernet rogue laptop to switch one. And I'm just going to choose FA03 here. You could technically choose any of them. You see that the link lights are red because I did a shutdown. So the directions actually want you to go to interface whatever you chose okay any interface that you chose and then you need to do a no shut to actually turn that port back on all right you see my link lights turn green now all right and then it says ping pc1 and pc2 after verification shut down um the connected port and let's first again go back and ping from pc1 to pc2 so using our ping command here or our button i'm going to click from pc1 to pc2 all right and i'll do it a couple times and then it doesn't tell us we need to go back the other direction but let's make sure that everything was added All right, so we'll do a exit here, show port security. Okay, so they're in restrict mode. Show port security address. All right, and it looks like it did bind both MAC addresses here once that traffic came across so all I was waiting is for any traffic to come across the ports here okay so once it sends it back and forth all right a ping goes from PC1 to PC2 and then remember PC2 needs to respond once it travels across that port it sees what the source and destination MAC address is all right then it says uh, disconnect PC2 okay or actually let's try to ping here we don't have any um we don't have any switch port security commands set up on fa03 so let's make sure this will work all right so i'm gonna go to the rogue laptop go to desktop command prompt and i'm gonna ping one of the other pcs so let's do a ping 10.10.10.11 this will ping pc2 from the rogue laptop and that works so tra traffic traveling from the rogue laptop to pc2 or traveling from the rogue laptop to PC1. So that was ping 10.10.10.10. That's also working, right? So traffic is flowing correctly here. Okay. Now, what happens though, because all right, now that my switch has learned on FA01 and FA02 what the MAC addresses are for PC1 and PC2, we set switch port security commands where it cannot learn any other MAC address on FA01 or FA02 otherwise it will 
uh, go into restrict mode. That's the violation because it's going to violate it because it's going to learn more than one once I connect the rogue laptop to FA02. So let's delete the cable here from PC2 to the switch. And then I'm going to delete this cable as well. And then I'm going to grab my pointer here. And I'm actually going to connect a new copper straight through from the rogue laptop fast ethernet zero but i'm gonna plug it into fa02 this time now it looks like it's working but let's ping from the rogue laptop over to pc1 now based on my settings when this travels across this port because it's now on fa02 i configure fa02 to learn any source mac address that means when it comes across here it's going to try to bind rogue laptops mac address to fa02 because of the sticky command however because i set it to maximum learn one mac address it's going to violate that and then it's going to go into restrict mode so it'll still be on but packets will start being dropped to pc1 so i'm gonna refire that ping command from the rogue laptop to go from the rogue laptop to pc1 all right and you see it says pinging and request is timing out. So it works because my requests are not getting through. So my packets are being dropped, but you see here that my link light is green, but no packets are getting across. All right, so it says do a show port security interface F02, just to see what happened here. All right, and it says for that port, the violation mode is in restrict. Um, it says it has been disabled for the aging. There's no aging set. It says secure. Maximum address is one. Um, and then it says violation count five. So that means there's been five violations that basically have been pinged across that port, and it's not going to work. Now you notice that our lab is at 99% here and that is because remember we went and enabled FA03 on S01. So we need to go back and configuration mode and do an interface FA03 and do a shutdown. And that will get us back to 100%.